the first time uh, Rich and I got to see you the first time ever fight is I think, you know, Rich was probably like 10 and I was like seven um, <laughs> was when my dad came home from work and me, Rich and I were watching probably like cartoons and he comes home from work and he changes the channel. We're like, hey, what are you doing? He goes, oh, no, no, there's this big fight going on. This is a big fight. You know, the world's most dangerous man, Ken Sherlock's going to be on TV. Yeah. You guys, you guys got to watch this. And we're literally like, oh, okay. And it was you against Chemo, the second fight. Yeah. And I remember watching that. And then what you did to him and you threw that knee and you knocked him out. I was like, oh, my gosh. I was so mind blown just watching it. It was crazy. And then, ever since then, followed you, you know, your career and been, you know, Rich and I, was, you know, big fans. But what was it like, you know, with that fight too, fighting Chemo the second time in that experience? Yeah, anytime you go in and fight a guy on the second one, um, especially if they are serious about coming back at you the second time, you know it's going to be a tougher fight, or at least you should expect it to be, because they fought you once. They may have been, considering who I was at the time, they may have been uh, a little nervous coming in against me since I was uh, the champion or on top at the time. I had a mystique about me. He came in a little tighter, a little nervous, and he got beat with a knee bar. Um, so I think the second time I, I had it in my mind that he was going to be much more prepared. And he was because I know he's working with jujitsu guys and he was doing a lot of groundwork. And I know he's prepared. I just I just happened to be able to catch him uh, trying to, to, to push me into the fence and try to tight waist me and get me to the ground um, and then be able to work from the top. Unfortunately for him, I knew he was going to do that. And so I was working on double underhooks and throwing a knee up in the down, the, right down the middle, um, not to the side Muay Thai, just right straight up the middle to try to catch him on the chin. Cause I knew he put his head in my chest because he puts it to the side. I'm going to guillotine him. Right. So I knew he put his head right in the center and I just double underhooked and threw the knee up the middle and caught him right on the chin. Oh yeah. I, I know Rich and I were even talking about it too, you know, we watched the fight a couple of days ago um, and, it was just perfect the way he caught him with the knee and but as kids too we're like oh my god like, <laughs> this is mind-blowing for us even you know, even it, now as adults alex and i are constantly watching it you know it's a fight that you could relive it you know the great thing through internet you could relive it watch it over and over again alex whenever alex and i would never get tired of watching it it was right such on. a beautiful ko and like perfect timing i even tell my friends like you want to watch a knockout watch chemo versus ken shamrock Right. They talked to me afterwards. It's such a great, I mean, great knockout. He was, I think he was about, what, 255, 250, something yeah. like that. Really yeah. Yes. Yeah, I came in at two, 212 or something like that. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Oh. And then, like, you know, with that, it's, it's crazy because Rich and I were, were talking like our favorite fights in your.